Hello everyone, I'm going to explain how works JTS email sender and how you should configure it to send unlimited emails from multiple email accounts uh, and uh, uh, without being stopped by spammers and anti-spam systems. Mm. Let's start. You see, uh, JITC Email Sender is a program with one JAR file written in Java, so it is cross-platform system. You can run it on Linux, Windows, or whatever system you wish. Um, its functional is pretty simple, so you can see, uh, as you can see in the uh, program, it has very few buttons, but it allows you to send as many uh, emails as you wish. Uh, the idea of this system is to send um, multiple uh, emails from multiple email accounts. Uh, what does that mean? For example, Google allows you to send 500 emails per day. For example, Yandex lets you send 300 emails per day. And each SMTP server, email server, has its limits. So you can choose multiple server, register in multiple server, and send uh, from them multiple emails. Uh, accordingly, after limit will be surpassed. For example, if you pass the limit of 500 emails for Gmail, the program will automatically switch to Yandex email account and start sending emails from there. Let's configure the program. As you can see, I already configured some basic idea of the basic uh, uh, configuration done. And uh, let's uh, understand each point uh, of this program. So, as you can see here, it's create a group. It's a create group of emails from which you will send emails. Basically, in this group, uh, all email accounts will be used uh, to send one uh, one project, one email, uh, 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 simultaneously to thousands of users, and uh, they will be changed ac accordingly. For example, if limit uh, of user will be surpassed for Gmail, it will switch to the next value of the uh, email. Let's here uh, add um, a group. Create group and with let's create group. Um, one second, test group, test group, save, and in test group you will see email accounts. Uh, once more, let's create and I will add some points. You see, feed, it means how fast the emails should be sent. For example, each email which will be sent 50 seconds after the, uh, each other. Basically, they are going to be sent each 50 seconds emails. Do nothing, send email actions. Uh, do nothing, it means that the mail is not being affected after being sent. And if log set log email, the email will be locked after being sent and the second time you won't be able to send it. And delete email means that you will delete email after sending uh, the email. So, let's go okay. and save it. Okay, let's go to this group because it is already con mm, configured. And you see, here is one email already configured. Delivery method SMTP and max connection 3, max email sent daily limit is 3 for this uh, particular account. Let's add uh, email account here um, from 
This is configurator for email accounts. You put limit per each day for this email account. Basically, the email sender will recognize, for the example, if you want to send two emails per day, it will understand that from this email account, you should send only two emails per day, no more. You can put as many as you wish, of course, um, but in our case, to see how it works, we will only put two emails. We will choose SMTP uh, server to configure uh, sending emails from SMTP server. And let's configure. As you can see, I edit all configurations to the SMTP account. Now let's save it. And you see we have here two emails. What this means, email account, that uh, the program will send three emails from GITSD.com and two emails from uh, test email and uh, let's test it. Uh, email mm, emails uh, button allows you to add uh, emails of clients, emails to who which uh, who should receive the emails. It's uh, emails of subscribers. Let's import them. Email and that is so nothing. Here it is. It's edit emails. Now let's get going to email sender. Choosing the group from which we need to send. Select. Choosing emails test which we should send and subject test and test. And let's send it. Starting sending. You see, you see, uh, speed of the sender will match the speed of the group. You put it here, and it set cells. You see, I sent two email test two from server smtpgmail.com. Sent. Unfortunately, this system yet don't don't have the functional to identify whether the email delivered or not, but it has a functional to send the emails simultaneously. If your occurs between uh, sending server and you, uh, the system will recognize it and stop it automatically. When the limit of the sending uh, functional will be surpassed, or for example, you want it to send 500 emails per day, it will, it will uh, automatically stop the sending process and will not continue further. So you need to adjust the sending process as well. Uh, as you can see in email part uh, here, we see that in yellow they are pressed, uh, changed color is in yellow. This means the program is locking. Uh, that means the second time, if you continue sending emails, it won't um, be a won't send to these emails because it will recognize that in past you sent the emails. If emails are not valid, they will be in red. Let's get going. You see, the program automatically after three actions uh, changed server to SMTP Yandex.com because I put it that uh, the program should send from infojitc.com only three emails per day. That is why he stopped and changed the server to SMTP Yandex, uh, which means uh, that you can put here as many SMTP servers as you like, uh, and they need to be in the group. Uh, all server, all uh, accounts in the group will be sent, will be used uh, automatically by server. If the limit 3 passed, the program will switch to the next account, um, email account, and will start the sending from it. As you can see here, it sends 3 emails here and 2 emails from Yandex. And because I put it overall 500, uh, 5 in, to send 5 emails, it sent only 5 emails. That's all. It's and stopped automatically. 
Now you can test and see whether the email delivered or not. You can put BCC to see whether uh, emails are being sent to the client. That's all.